VR is one of the coolest things you can experience in the world of gaming. When placing on a headset, the 3D space around you comes to scale and everything starts to feel tangible. If you've landed your hands on a VR setup, then you're probably here to find games with a heightened sense of realism. And I have a really good title in mind. It's a really good title. A game that is called Beam and G Drive. And this is going to take many of you by surprise. Beam and G Drive may have struck you as an outdated crashing simulator based on a lot of questionable content online, but it's truly a beautiful looking game that has a lot more to offer than just crashing. Although we know why the majority of us are getting this game in the first place. So, in this video, we're going to be showcasing Beam & G Drive in VR, which I've been wanting to do for a very long time. But first, let's make sure that you can run the game. In terms of a GPU, you're going to want to have a graphics card that has about 10 gigabytes of VRAM or more, and also a headset that is compatible with OpenXR. Most headsets are compatible, but if you want to be sure, I'll leave a Beam & G VR help link down in the description, which will help you troubleshoot and answer some questions. Now for my favorite part of the video, which is where we get to drive. Actually, it's where you like, subscribe, and become a channel member, but this is a close second. So, I'm gonna grab my headset, and we're gonna start off on the perfect starter map called Gridded Map V2. And YouTube memberships are like OnlyFans for men. And to tell you the perks transfer over to Discord. Anyways, the reason why you get Beam and G Drive alongside your other VR games is because it feels so much more immersive by sitting inside of a vehicle and having it carry you around, opposed to walking around with the joystick. Besides the fact that you don't have G-forces pressing back against you, but that's something that... Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's something you can never get away from in games. You just can't replicate G-forces. Now this game also supports wheels, it supports controllers, and it also supports keyboards. I broke the map. I edited this map and I forgot to put the floor back when I was done. Okay, if you're worried about your graphics card, I'm pushing about 5 gigabytes of VRAM at this point in time while recording this video. So if you have an 8 gigabyte of VRAM graphics card, you might be able to get away with that. Man, it just feels so cool. I feel like I'm quite literally inside of a truck. Got that one wheeled peel going with an open diff. And of course, if you want to, you can use it as a crashing sim and just full send it and destroy your vehicle. That's the beauty of BMG Drive. It is great as a driving sim, great as a crashing sim, great as a drifting sim, great as an off-roading sim. It's what you want the game to be. My favorite thing to do in BMG Drive is just to relax and cruise around, especially with off-roading. And by the way, if you have a controller, you can interact with anything that's toggleable inside of the vehicle as well as outside of the vehicle. We can actually get out here and then stand back. Oh, it's it's not ginormous, but it's it's a decent size. But we can't open the back door, we can open the side doors. I think. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> it's so awesome. Anyways, I understand that off-roading isn't high-octane gameplay, but it's something that's a lot of fun to do with friends in Beam and G multiplayer. Wait a minute. A multiplayer? Beam and G does have a multiplayer. It's called Beam and P and you can download it offline. It's not an official multiplayer, but it is a mod to where you can play VR and experience this game with a bunch of other people. This is multiplayer in Beam and G. <laughs> Sometimes very cursed, but people do use this for racing and some people who play this will definitely be on keyboard <laughs> oh, You can never get on beam and P expecting everybody to be serious. It's all fun and goofy most of the time Holy guess well, that's the end of this video. You cannot make this up one's in a scintilla and the rest are inside of hero buses every single one of them